Niger's coup is hitting shoppers hard. Prices for basic goods are soaring. Ibu Kani, for one, is feeling it. He says the price for a sack of rice has gone up by more than a third, to around the equivalent of $25. Frankly, I felt it in my pocket. And right now, where we are, we're all stocking up, I think. In a month's time, what's it going to be like? That's the question. The toppling of President Mohamed Bazoum earlier this month prompted ECOWAS, the economic community of West African states, to close borders and sever commercial ties with Niger. It's already one of the world's poorest nations. And some groups are urging the bloc to reconsider that move to avoid making hardship worse for Nigerians. The military junta leader has already floated the possibility of difficult weeks and months ahead. While panic buying doesn't seem to have kicked in, many are feeling the pinch. The cost of cooking oil is also up. Still, that doesn't necessarily add up to criticism of the coup. We must help those around us, and above all, help the new government, says this merchant. Even before the coup, more than 3 million of Niger's 26 million population were facing acute food shortages. Exacerbating the squeeze, some Western nations have also cut aid to Niger, a country where foreign assistance makes up 40 percent of its budget.